troubleshooting this solenoid is actually quite simple. In order to troubleshoot the solenoid, we'll use the continuity feature of our multimeter. We can use, either use continuity or the resistance feature, but I prefer the continuity feature because if we have continuity, which means we have a good coil, we hear a resounding beep with the meter. Okay, so on our solenoid we have four posts, two small and two large. The smaller ones are the magnetic coil inside the solenoid. So, in order for the magnet to be created, we need one long continuous strand of wire. Sometimes, due to vibration or uh, overuse, uh, that, that wire will break. These solenoids live a pretty hard life. So, if we have a good coil, we should have a beep between the, uh, those two smaller posts. And this one we do. So we know the, the coil of this solenoid happens to be good. Next we'll discuss troubleshooting the high amperage side of the switch. Okay, we have another solenoid and we will again connect our multimeter to the high amperage or switch side of the solenoid and we'll again energize this solenoid to see if there's any fault with the high amperage side so we should hear a click and we'll turn on our meter we should hear a click and if it's a good solenoid we'll hear a beep okay that tells us this solenoid is good. Some common causes of the high amperage side of the solenoid uh, not offering continuity or uh, poor continuity or high voltage drop uh, are generally due to corrosion on the bottom of these posts between the bottom of the post and the plunger uh, inside the solenoid. Uh, those can be cleaned if necessary but like we said you're generally best off to uh, replace the device and, uh, and discard the faulty one.